Facebook has launched a completely new way to create a Facebook page and they're doing it in a way that makes it super easy for people to find out about how to create a Facebook page and then start creating the page. So if you go to any Facebook page on Facebook, you'll see create a page in the top right. You'll also see it in the lower left hand sidebar. If you click on either of these, you'll go to the starting place. The starting place is here where you want to create a Facebook page and there are six different types of Facebook pages that you can create. For nonprofits, you're basically going to pick either local place or business or company, organization or institution. Local place or business is really going to apply for nonprofits that are religious organizations, community government organizations, libraries, museums. What they have in common is that people actually visit you. It's a place that people go to. Okay, so it includes your business name, street address, city, zip, phone, and so forth. The other type is a company, organization, or institution. This is the type of organization where people really don't visit you. Okay, you have a breast cancer foundation that is in the back of a corporate park. Nobody ever comes to visit you. All of your events take place at a restaurant or on a golf course. You want to pick the category that best matches how people think about you, not how you think about you. Okay, so the example that I always like to bring up is, you know, it's easy to say we're a nonprofit, but your supporters might think, well, actually, you are a nonprofit, but we call you a church or a religious organization. And then you pick the name of the page, okay? So this is my political organization, Free Snickers for Everyone, okay? This is my campaign that I'm going to run on. Click on Agree to the Facebook page terms. I would read these. Click on Get Started, and then you come to this page. Now, this is what's new. It's basically a three-step process. The first thing you want to do is you want to upload an image. So I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to upload an image that we have here. And the image uh, dimension is 180 pixels wide by um, a maximum of 540 pixels tall. You can also import a photo from your website. This is totally new. So the way this works is that if we type in snickers.com, click on import, we have an image that was pulled from the snickers.com website and I can also select that image. This makes it a lot easier for people that don't even know how to save an image on their desktop. We're going to click continue because we have this photo. The second step is inviting friends. You can do two things here. You can invite friends who are actually your real Facebook friends. It might make sense to have multiple administrators on your Facebook page eventually to leverage those friend networks. Okay, I'm not going to pick any right now. The other way that you can add people to your page is by integrating it with your web-based email or uploading a contact file from your email database. So upload a contact file, Outlook Constant Contact CSV file, you can do that. Or you could simply uh, connect up with Hotmail, Yahoo. So we're going to skip that. Promoting your page, launching your page, it's best if you do that later on anyhow once you create a page that's presentable. Uh, you can also share the page on your wall once you create it. You can also like the page automatically. These are all new features. All right. So we're going to click on continue. And then finally, we come to basic information. We're going to enter a website. We put a little bit of information about the page. Vote for me and you'll get free Snickers for life. Click on continue. And then the page is created.